This is Code Odoric. Let's see what we got here. Let's start this section by drawing a triangle with 150 pixel sides. Be sure to use length, variable, and a repeat loop. Okay, I see what they're saying here with length and a repeat, but really, I like to start throwing down to code just to see stuff go. So I'm going to ignore length and repeat, and we'll get back to that. What I do need is to draw a 150 uh, length line. So move forward by length. So move forward by length. And I'm going to hit run. And it's going to be really angry. Why is it angry? Because it has no idea what length is. It says a word. And you can try to change this. Oh, I want to put in a number. Except that's not what they're looking for. Just like in math when you have a variable. Let's say x plus 2 equals 3. x plus 2 equals 3. Well, then what would x be? Well, x would be equal to 1. That's how they want us to use length. They want this word to represent a number. So we need to head over to variables and do set. Blow. I'm going to drop it here, and it's not going to work at all still. Why is that? Because we told the computer first to draw a uh, uh, move forward by 50 by length pixels. It has no idea what length is. It says, I don't know. And then it gets to this line and we say, oh, by the way, length is 50. Code runs in order. We can't tell it what length is after it tries to use it. So I really need this here. That way we hit run. It knows what length is. Length is equal to 50. And then when we get to this line, it says move forward by length pixels. What the heck is length? Oh, I remember 50. All right. So we already let it know what that's equal to. And this will actually move. That being said, I think, yeah, we want 150 for this. All right. I'm still going to ignore the loop part for now because let's just get this drawn. So actions, I think I'll have to turn. They give me 120. I'm going to leave that for now. Let's see what that does. And I'll pull out another move forward. Let's see. Oh, that was the right angle. Cool. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Got to turn again. And let's move forward. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Hey. No, we need to keep going. This is too many lines, right? This functions. I got it. But notice how it says 13 in orange. That's because we can do it in less. And how I often know to use loops is, well, actually, first, why don't we have our guy point back into the direction we started in? So that would just be one final action, right? We're just going to turn back to be where we started. Yep. Okay. So now I know I need to use a loop. And what does a loop do? It automatically repeats code. I want to look for duplicated code. Well, set length. That's unique. Move forward by length. Turn left 120. Bloop. Move forward by length. Turn left 120. Bloop. Notice for each side of the triangle, I am doing the exact same two lines of code. And let's not. Let's not do that. So instead, we can use a loop. I'm going to pull this guy out. And notice it even says 3 already. So I'm going to put this in here. And rather than having three blocks of code or three separate times, I only need it once. Now I want to point something out. I want to point out where a set length is. Notice it's the top even before the loop. And that is because right now we're just setting the length once. There's no reason to have this code in a repeat block. Length is going to be equal to 150. We don't need to tell the computer three times, hey, is length 150? Set length to 150. Hey, set length to 150. Hey, set length to 150. That's not what we want. We want length up here just to run once. This looks good. Onward.